Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and today I'm going to show you a brand new Squarespace video tutorial and we are going to look at how you can disable the escape key login on your Squarespace website. And this is really neat. I'll show you two different scenarios of how it might look if you haven't already done this yet. And you'll see that with just a couple of clicks, you can get this little trick up and running in no time at all. So if you're like, what the heck does disable the escape key login mean? Let me show you. So if you have not done this yet, which you probably have not, when you go to a Squarespace website like my own, charlotteohara.ca, you can go to the website, click into it, and um, let's say you're fiddling around with it, blah, 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 and you accidentally hit the escape key. Now you'll see what happens if you have not done the disable yet is that you're gonna be redirected to the back end of your Squarespace website. So this is what happens if you're already logged in. You can see that you've got all the pages, design, all of those functionalities are right there. And that's probably not what we want. I'll show you as well what happens um, using a different browser where I am not logged in on the back end of my Squarespace website. So here, again, same thing, I'm on the front end of the website, um, clicking through, viewing my website, looks good. And if I accidentally hit the escape key, but I'm not logged in on this browser, this is what you see. Instead of getting to the full backend portal, instead here you're getting the Squarespace login site. So this is where you would enter um, the Squarespace backend if you have not logged in. And to get rid of this functionality is really easy. So I'm just gonna to toggle back over to where we're already logged in. And to do this, you click down to settings, scroll down to advanced, and then here there's escape key. You're gonna click on that one. And all you have to do is uncheck this box here, or a little circle, I guess it is, and click save. And that's it. So let me show you again how this is put into practice online. So now if you go to charlotteohara.ca and you know visit the site, do whatever, and if you click the escape key, oh, there you go. See, I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm clicking away and nothing's happening. So that functionality has been in place. And the great thing about this is that once you've done it, then you're not risking people who are just visiting your website, accessing your login information. Because not only is that just like a little bit awkward for everyone involved, it's unprofessional and you risk like security things if people can just log into your website by clicking the escape key. So very simple, just log in on the back end, follow those simple steps to unclick the button and you'll be good to go. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this Squarespace tutorial and all the other ones I've done. Um, and don't forget, you can hit the red subscribe button just below the video and also go to my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And there's lots more content there, especially if you like Squarespace, websites, design, development, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching. Bye.